Uh, welcome to the third day of Balkan 2K16. The next lesson will be about the philosophy of founding uh, hackerspace, presented by Goran Mekic. Wow, what a crowd. First talk after a rocky workshop and there's this fan base. Thank you all for coming. Uh, so, uh, my name is Meka and I am co-founder of uh, Hackerspace in Avisad. It's a one and a half year old baby and we had our share of problems and some of them were solved attacked by uh, free software we wrote. So I'm going to talk about our experience and, uh, well, how it all went. And so for a start, we, uh, we had a hackerspace. We have a hackerspace. And um, it's a nearby. I'm going to talk about it a bit more later. Uh, but for now, it's it's growing and it's uh, it's doing nice. It can always do better, of course. Uh, but if you want to fund something with uh, with open source, you need a project, definitely. Uh, you need a project in a, in an unpleasant way of thinking of your new idea that is developing as a project. And uh, we try to avoid really boring stuff. And um, that, that aspect of, uh, of funding is not, not fun at all. So we try to automate it because mostly we are uh, sysadmins and we are lazy and we automate stuff. Uh, and. Uh, when I gave uh, on a call for papers, uh, we had uh, funding, and I was all happy to announce that we have funding as an open source uh, project, but uh, we had it for two months, and now for two months we don't. So the, the question mark is, what do you do? when you don't have funding, uh, and there is some experience from the, from the project that you can use to, well, keep on going. And uh, as I said, we are very young. Uh, we are babies, and I invite you to, uh, to stay on the next talk, which is about a bit more mature hackerspace and their problems. Uh, so. I'm going to talk about problems a lot, but that's uh, because I want you to be aware of them. And the moral of the talk is uh, fund one, uh, create in your own town one. And this is one of the examples that can uh, give you funding, which is mostly the problem. And uh, we realize that we're young, but mostly web developers and systems. So if we want some funding, we better do something with it because that's, that's what we can do. That's what we know. And uh, we realize that uh, one hackerspace actually is a bunch of crazy ideas. Uh, well, not so crazy in a, in a hackerspace environment, but to the outside world, it's just craziness and uh, some formulas or code or whatever. Uh, but you're understood in that environment, so you can expose your ideas to uh, really crazy people with a uh, lot of smart ideas and experience how, how they did it in their own projects. And, um, one aspect I, I like to, to uh, emphasize is uh, will to do anything. Uh, so just in a, as an example, there, there's a, not our initiative, but a Hackerspace and the Moon by 2027, I think. 
So that, that's a really strong will to do anything. And uh, we created a project which is actually his fault, this little guy. Uh, we're sysadmins, and what we do is um, administrating WordPress and more WordPress. And we're up to here with WordPress, and the initial idea was, OK, can we create a button so that our client can click on a button and poop, there's a new WordPress. But since then, the, the idea evolved, and OK, so we're uh, using Ansible right now. Uh, does anyone here know what Ansible is? Wow, quite a few. Uh, so Ansible is a fancy script you apply to your server and it creates whatever the script is meant to create. Uh, so you have this, among others, WordPress and Whatever you put in a script, it's there. So Ansible Galaxy is a way, uh, is a market in a in a way where people exchange their their scripts, and uh, Ansible calls them roles. Uh, so on the other hand, if you want to create a, some server doing something, you probably do something with a provider and we realized, well, yeah, we could use API, it's modern, why not? And uh, what we didn't know uh, what the pain was to, for a bunch of sysadmins is to learn front end. And it was really painful experience. I think it's worthwhile, but wow, I don't wish to go through that again. So front end, <laughs> we're kind of stuck with um, modern uh, stack with um, Redux, Material, UI, Redux, uh, React, and Socket.io, which is just a bunch of list of, of frameworks we use. But I think it's combined in a sysadmin way, so Let's not touch the code at all, and let's make it do its own job kind of thing. And uh, once there was front end, we needed uh, design, and we really suck at design. So material UI helped. Uh, moral of this story is you have to realize what you're strong at and what are your weak points and deal with it. I mean, that it's there, so you better deal with it. So we know we don't know design and thank you, Material UI. Uh, but we're, this is our strong point, so it's basically we, we've done everything in backend, of course. Uh, and the idea was that as sysadmins, we are using Python all the time. So how about we learn to program a bit so we create something useful? And we are obviously scratching our back with whatever we have, and it's convenient. Uh, so it's a, by the way, if, if you're seeing double, that's not because of Rakia. Uh, you're fine. Uh, so, back to topic. Um, we try to use as small stack as possible, uh, as minimal frameworks as possible. And uh, I think at the end, because of the DevOps side actually, I think we did an some aspects better job than Ansible Tower, which is official application which is not open source that does the same job. And will GPL3, uh, even if we wanted it any other way, we couldn't because the code and the license of Ansible bound us to uh, use GPL3. And I think it, that, that was a lucky coincidence, so we enjoyed. Uh, 
So on the on the DevOps side, you you have to publish something on Ansible Galaxy uh, in order to have something on market. And luckily, other people did, and it's a huge market. Uh, and you you kind of have to know right now how to use it as. We're officially last version was 0, 0, 001. Uh, and using Docker Compose uh, gave us ability to not bound ourselves to any provider or any VM implementation. So you can run it on your laptop as a on one command or in a cloud or wherever you wish and please do and let us know there are bugs of course there are bugs it's alpha version so please report them but now once we had a project and a, and a hackerspace of course we're we're back to funding and uh, to me the, the most important thing I ever heard as an advice was this Congress uh, three years ago. Uh, I heard a talk by Igor who said, you need a local context, you need to know local context to make something with the local people. And uh, that's that's basically what we did. Okay, we have a hackerspace with a need, and we have a project with which provides something. And how about we do something with those two? And our local context said, well, people are not so much able to uh, to give you money as a donation, but they are really willing to put an effort and their will and their brain power into creating something that's uh, wonderful, actually. And here we are with uh, one of the greatest places, uh, like a class of places called hackerspace, which collect people with high IQ, and we need to find a way to figure out a way to raise some money. Come on, how, how hard can it be, right? Uh, I mean, we should be smart, let's do it. And we did by being really loud, uh, or at least trying to be really loud. And um, being really loud in, in digital age probably means uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, whatever you come by as a free way of saying, hey, I exist. And we do this and we want this. Can we exchange or can we, can we find some, some common interest? And uh, of course, version 001 was a proof of concept. We had to have one in order to kind of sell the idea. And in order to do anything, we needed a team. But the team was um, the kind of afterthought. Uh, and the reason it was an afterthought is because we knew each other for years, and we didn't think about the team. We were already drinking beer together, so let's do something together. But I have to point out that that's a really, really important uh, point, and don't neglect your team. Uh, so funding was uh, as a Funding on its own was a project uh, with, with its ups and downs, uh, with, uh, with, with um, problems that we were luckily uh, were lucky to, to solve on, a, on one interesting way. And an interesting way was that we encountered a guy that said, "Okay." I really am stuck with some client, 
And I know you guys from the previous projects. Can you speed up development, please, on this and this? And that happened to us. Uh, and we were kind enough to say, OK, cover our expenses of a hackerspace, and we will make it happen. So that was happening for two months. That, that, that was the funding for. Uh, and we ended up being better at project management and management overall. Uh, we kept it kind of fun. That, that, that funding side, we kept fun as much as possible. Uh, and actually, our landlords helped. The, the, everyone involved in uh, Tilda Center as a hackerspace were super cool and helpful. So uh, it kind of couldn't fail if we put enough brain power and will into it. So it was fun in, in a way, in its own ways. And you're going to discover on your own. Uh, how it is, but a project, well, we're, we're sysadmins for the, I don't know, fifth time, and we're lazy, of course, uh, so the, the, only pr uh, the, the only way of solving a problem we know is automation, so we did it, and a huge part of that is Ansible. If you never heard of Ansible, please do look up the videos. Uh, and it's super easy to install, so automation everywhere, generators everywhere, so don't write your own code, it's, it's terrible. Uh, but the project was interesting because of one, one collaborative effort, and that's uh, new people and old people that know each other and have no idea what's going on. Uh, how, do you, how do you cope with it? And me, personally, as a technical person, I'm not really good with people. And, and that, that, that was my obstacle and my challenge to, to solve. And uh, rejecting ideas and pull requests and even some people was hard and uh, desirable to protect the rest of the project and the rest of the team from the fools and from the wrong route. And uh, I read once, uh, I think it was Jesse Frazzle, who said, uh, for a pool request and a project you're, you're a maintainer of, uh, saying, you know, it's, uh, it's a temporary thing because when I, say, okay, this can't go, I give you the reasons, or can you work on this, can we improve that? But saying yes is uh, accepting the, the pull request or a person in a team who can destroy it, and you have to be careful about it. So uh, the reason I'm emphasizing saying no is uh, be careful who you, who you choose to be like your friends, I'm not saying it as your father, but I do sound like it. And a project is your baby, so you kind of have this uh, parental thing going on with your project, and you slip into emotions sooner or later. Uh, and um, so the project didn't end, but the uh, funding did. And now we can do something with it. Um, Honestly, the thing we were asked to do was totally not fun. It was Azure API, and we couldn't figure it out in two months. If anyone can figure it out, please let us know. We were not smart enough to do it with Microsoft support help. It was that ridiculous. So. Uh, after the funding stopped, we could really do some cool stuff. We, we could break the project again if we wanted to, and we wanted to because it was ugly and we needed some new design and new rope. And uh, it's uh, 
wonderful new opportunity for new ideas uh, because we're already kind of breaking the project. Uh, we're keeping the, the version stable, but God forbid if we have something stable right now in, in a master branch. Uh, so it's a, it's a start of some new ideas and new research, uh, but we kind of cooled our heads with, with the research right now. So it's, uh, it's also time to invite new people now that we finally know what we're doing. And any physical entity has its own inertia, so does a project, although it's virtual, but it has this inertia of uh, cool people doing cool stuff. Uh, and we kept on doing it. And that inertia uh, gave birth to some other projects that are on the same stack, based on the same stack, and are totally different than what I hoped for, which is great. I really love diversity. Uh, so that inertia is, uh, is kind of important. And once that that real good feeling stops, inertia keeps you on going, and don't neglect it. Uh, so what we're doing right now, what I'm doing right this second is putting the word out, we're out of funding, and we are uh, in for the new people. So th that's basically putting the word out. Uh, and we think of scaling not only as sysadmins, although I, I'm afraid we're gonna use the same solutions, but there, th this is only one project and it's only one uh, license. Since then, we, uh, some of us, grow to like BSD and we wanna expand that even uh, legally, so and we don't know how to do it. We we don't know what are the consequences. So not only the digital world has to scale; it's it's our knowledge and it's our membership. And um, as a project is now in a in a alpha state, I. I did my best in inspiring people to write docs, and we have pretty much covered it all, but we need people who are not so technical as we are, as we need proper, uh, a new perspective into a project. We can't explain it to people what, what it is, normal people. I. I uh, I kind of said you're not normal, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I could talk to you about these ideas uh, and you're not in a position where you need uh, spoon feeding and for the people you kind of ask for money, you need to spoon feed them. So we don't know how to properly put it into docs. Uh, so if you know it, please let us know, we are more than willing to listen to you. So that was all by me, and if you have any questions, please, if you can use the mic, please do. No? Okay, uh, so we're gonna have a tour to a hackerspace which is, I don't know, seven minutes in that direction uh, by foot. Uh, follow the beautiful lady with a similar shirt uh, in 3 p.m. And thank you for being here, uh, even on, on hangover. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>